It's time for Finance Friday, sponsored by Compass Retirement Solutions, and I'm joined by financial advisor Mark Kaplan. And we're talking about life insurance. Could, should someone consider life insurance to grow wealth? Definitely. I think people don't understand the power of life insurance sometimes. When you look at other investment vehicles, it could be tax deferred, there could be restrictions on what you can invest. With life insurance, it's going to grow tax free for you. There's no really restrictions on when you can borrow against it. So there's really a lot of different ways to use to use it for you and it's also it's one of those things that's going to grow as if you never touch it so if you do borrow money from it it's going to grow as if you never touched it and there's very few other investments wow. out there that are going to do that for you so what we're talking about term life insurance versus, versus what what's the alternative yeah so there's different types of permanent life insurance yeah. with term you know people hear term and you know it's only going to last 10 20 years after that it goes away with yeah. permanent life insurance it's going to last the rest of your life. So, you know, people here, it's a little bit more expensive than term, but there's right. so much, there's so many different avenues that you can use for it. That's what makes it powerful. Well, we think of life insurance as just something that kicks in after you're gone. Is that, is that true? Not true? No, not true. So with, with the cash value in a lot of these policies, you can use it for really whatever you want to use it for. And there's also ways of using it for long-term care or something like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a living benefit, not just a death benefit. How do you make that determination for somebody? Like which one's going to best suit their situation? That's a great question. So it really depends on, on the person, what they're using it for. I mean, if they want to use it for them, they can also give them that long-term care capabilities. There's other ways of doing it on a kid, a grandkid to make sure that you're creating that generational wealth, giving them kind of something that they can, they can use when they need to. And what kind of conversation are you having with people? What kind of questions are you asking to help figure out which direction to go? Yeah, really what they want to use it for is a big one. Um, you know, what their health is. You know, there's ways of using it for retirement planning as well, where you can grow it tax-free, you can end up taking it. Or if they say, hey, I want to make sure that the next generation's covered, and, or maybe I want to do something nice for my grandkid for Christmas for a gift or something like right. that, right? Something that they know is going to last the rest of their life, even when they might not be there. What if, what if you've made a decision, you've picked one, and you have a life-altering health situation, can you revisit that? Is it too late to revisit? So that's, that's a good point. So once you actually get it, you're good, right? So no matter what happens in your life, it never goes away, where when you talk about term, right, once that term goes away, you have to get re-underwritten depending right. on your health, you might not be able to qualify for it again, where with whole life or a permanent product, like right, once you get it, you're set no matter what happens to you. That's a good, good thing to have. Correct. Absolutely. All right, well, there you go. Mark, each week you offer a complimentary copy of the book, Retire Early, written by your founder, Marvin Mitchell. If you'd like to get a free copy of the book, Retire Early, just go to rethinkingretirement.net. That's rethinkingretirement.net. Mark, thanks for being here. Thank you.